securitycameraking.com. In this video, I will show you how to back up footage from your DVR to a flash drive. The same procedure is for uh, a DVD, CD. Um, it's the same procedure. The only thing is going to be uh, you have to use the DVD minus R in order for you to record or to back up footage to, uh, from the DVR. To start, we're going to log in into your DVR. And uh, the first thing you got to do is plug in the flash drive. On this case, because it's a flash drive, it has to be formatted. You're going to plug it in on one of the USB ports on, the, on your DVR and go to the main menu and go to backup. Make sure that the device is showing up there or the flash drive is showing up there. Make sure it's checked and hit erased. Confirm the format of the drive. Hit OK. And the drive has been formatted to uh, a partition that the DVR recognizes. Click OK. Right click to go to the main menu again and hit search. Here is the search interface. You're going to uh, click the little clock to open up the calendar. Uh, you choose your date and automatically will show uh, the files that has been recorded based on the date. Uh, if you want to be specific, uh, it depends upon how your DVR is recording. In my case, it's recording 24-7. So uh, you can be specific on the time if it's recording based on motion. So if you wanted to look for something that happened at 9.50, you just put that time. And if the DVR records something at that time, and it will show up here on this column over here. Uh, so I'm going to choose a different time, 9 a.m. All is for all of the events or all of the type of uh, files you wanted to choose or you want to look for. In this case, I always leave it at all. It will not change anything. Uh, this portion over here is the channels that you can choose to look footage. If you click the arrow, you will see all of the channels that your DVR has. If it has four, it will show only four. If it has 16, it will show all of the 16 channels. So I'm interested on channel one and channel two. The rest you can mask by clicking this option here. And this option over here will show you when you click play, it will show you the four channels at the same time based on this time. Only four channels, whatever you specified in here. So if I specify 1, 2, 10, and 15, and choose this option 4, when I hit play, it will show four channel or four window viewing based on this channels that I choose in here and based on this time. So in my case, I don't, I don't have any other cameras plugged in there. And I can choose as well all, so it will play all 16 channels on one window at this specific time. And this option I cannot click on it because it's basically going to uh, show up footage based on this time when I hit play. I can show you right there and there it is. Okay, so go back up, right click, and you go back again to the main menu of the search. Uh, I'm going to choose four for the channels one and two. I mean, this option you can, you have to choose four in order for you to choose every individual channel. So if you choose all, this option no longer be, you're not, you will no longer be able to click or choose whatever you want there. So let's choose four. And choose the magnifier glass. There are my two footage. And Basically, if you're interested on this two files you want to back up, you just click this check. Just check these boxes over here. And click the floppy drive. Um, then make sure that your USB disk is set up in here. It's showing up here under the device. And just basically choose the files that you want to back up and just hit start. A, uh, a progression bar will show up here. Uh, basically, after with the brand, with the newer DVRs with the HDMI port and the newest firmware, 
uh, you don't need the player uh, to be installed on your computer. The player will be downloaded to your flash drive from the DVR itself uh, to your flash drive. So you can uh, plug that into your computer and play the files right there. If you don't have uh, the DVRs with the HDMI unit, with the HDMI port, you have to download the player in order for you to play those files that you download into your uh, flash drive. You can uh, download this player by going to support.techprosecurity.com slash forums and type on the search bar uh, player and download that, that folder and uh, just install it on your computer and you will be able to play the, the files on your computer. So I'm just going to uh, finish this video by saying uh, this is very easy to do. I mean, the, the same procedure is with the CD or, in, or DVDs. Um, it will show up here. It, of course, using a DVD has more space, up to at least 4 gigabytes if you're using a single layer uh, DVD. The DVDs have to be minus R. We uh, haven't tested with the plus R, and actually we don't recommend it to use it with the plus R. So, uh, if you're interested, you can use the uh, DVDs, minus R, or any flash drive uh, with more than two gigs of space. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.